Hello, I'm Paula, an insect farmer from Grubs Up in southwestern Australia. I definitely feel that I'm a farmer. I think what we're farming is innovative, it's progressive, and it's changing the way people might perceive farmers and women in farming as well. Not all our consumers want the same thing. Some want cricket powder to add to smoothies. Other consumers want a plain whole roasted product ready to eat. So things like protein balls, smoothies. I like lots of things about of farming crickets. Care. Most of them, the and fact that, that I can share the story of future food systems and sustainable protein sources. And I also love hearing the crickets chirp. So crickets chirp when they start breeding and that's always a good sign. I got into insect farming because my family property is quite small and I really couldn't afford to buy any surrounding property to become a traditional broadacre farmer. I decided to look into other farming systems, be that vertical farming, intensive farming, horticulture, and I came across insect farming. And that's a really good system that produces high protein food. No two days are ever the same, but typically in the morning we go into the production shed, which is an intensive agricultural system, and we check the egg production, we check all our breeders. We always need to make sure the crickets have enough food. Grubs Up is definitely the only insect farm in Western Australia that produces insects for human food. And our vision is to create and produce a sustainable source of protein for generations to come. I need to make sure that the crickets that are of breeding age have their egg laying area put in. And every day I harvest a few thousand crickets. I usually harvest around eight weeks old and I need to make sure that they don't have any food or water for at least 24 hours so there's nothing left in their excretory system. We are a startup business. It's not something that's generally associated with agriculture, but we are definitely a startup business because we're breaking new ground. Would you like me to get the containers ready? Yeah, that's what we're doing. There's four of us that make up grubs up. There's two men in the background, <laughs> and Amanda and I are, I guess, the face for our business. The Dukka was a hit at the Food and Farm Fest. Was it? Yeah. Amanda and I went to university together where we studied agribusiness and our friendship grew from there. It smells so beautiful. Once we've harvested our crickets, we turn them into a variety of different products. We need to start by triple rinsing them so they're nice and clean. Then we slow dry roast them with nothing else added for up to five hours. It's uh, really important to value add our products because not all our consumers want the same thing. Some want cricket protein powder. Other consumers want something that's ready to eat, such as our protein buzz. And one of our best sellers is our cricket dukkha. Yep, I'm getting that. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm gonna put a few more in here. We came up with the insect dukkha because people really wanted to purchase our product, but some didn't want the ick factor of eating a whole roasted cricket. But dukkha is a nice variety of spices, coriander, cumin, fennel, salt, pepper, hazelnuts, and cricket powder blended through it. So it's quite a tasty product. And then we just need to mix it all together. We go to different events. We find when we share our story through public speaking or through education in the school system that people really want to be part of our story and our journey. So the number one question I always get asked, so I'll tell you it now, is how or why did you get into insect farming? The production of protein is really important as all humans and animals need protein for survival. 
But the World Health Organization predicts by 2050 that there will be 9 billion people to feed, 35 billion livestock to feed, and that doesn't include the domestic animal market. Yeah, insects are saving the world and we're doing great because it's actually challenging. Yeah. It's a good thing. There's never been the same answer on what a roasted cricket tastes like, but generally it can be like bacon or hazelnuts or all sorts of different things. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, people generally are very cautious not to eat an insect straight away, but when they're in a crowd environment, everyone has to try it. I've got two daughters, a five-year-old and a 12-year-old. One of the things I'm most proud of is that I've actually shown my girls that I've started a business. I've challenged the ideals of what farming's about, what insect farming's about, and I've given it a go. Agriculture is one of the only industries where you need to be an economist, a tech person, an environmentalist. The opportunities are endless, and um, it's quite groundbreaking at the moment.